So who's the best goalkeeper in the Canadian Premier League? Well, in this week's video, I'm going to be giving you my top 10 goalkeepers in the CPL in 2019. Coming up. I'm Curtis and you're watching AFC Curtis, your home for all things Canadian Premier League content right here on YouTube. So if you're new here, maybe consider hitting that red subscribe button. So with the Canadian Premier League season just kicking off in just a few weeks, finally, I'm going to be giving you my top 10 goalkeepers in the Canadian Premier League. A lot of people don't know who's the best goalkeeper, who's not the best goalkeeper, who's the second, third best. Everyone kind of has their own opinion. Well, I did all the research for you guys. I did all my homework on this episode. And here is my top 10 list of the 10 best goalkeepers in 2019 in the Canadian Premier League season. We start off number 10 here, the countdown with Valor FC goalkeeper Matthias Jensens. Now I'm starting the countdown off with Matthias Jensen's because I really do think he's the 10th best goalkeeper in the Canadian Premier League. Scouts are really high on the young buck who's only 20 years old coming over from Belgium and you know a lot of people actually predicted or even believed that he could uh, challenge Tyson Farrago for the starting position as a Valor FC goalkeeper this season. I don't think he will be the starter this year. I think in the, in the long term plan maybe yes he is going to be the starter but I think he's one of those players that Rob Gill is going to take a chance on to help develop and bring up to the system and therefore sell off in the future years for a pretty big price tag and a good profit at that. He just came recently playing from the Belgium 3rd Division. He's also spent time in the Belgium U16 and U19 program and we all know those Belgiums are really good at developing goalkeepers so definitely look out for Matthias Jensen in the 2019 season. At number 9 here we have Pacific FC goalkeeper Nolan Wirth. Now with Nolan Worth, I believe he's going to be worth the price of admission for all those Pacific FC fans out there who are going to be attending matches this year. I don't really believe he will be the starting goalkeeper, though I do think Mark Village, who's a little bit down further down the list here, will be the starting goalkeeper coming out of training camp. But I think Nolan Worth is one of those players for the future. He's just like Jensen's, is a really good young backup goalkeeper right now. To just 24 years old, so he's really young. He's actually been tearing it up though on the soccer scene on the Vancouver Island scene since the age of 12 years is old and he's played with Canada at the U18 and U20 levels so I mean this guy is really up and coming good young player has gone through the Vancouver Whitecaps residency program he's played with the Victoria Highlanders in the USL2 which is now actually the USL2 was the PDL and has actually also played in 2017 um, with the USL championship side Phoenix Rising which is Dieter Drogba's club there so I mean this guy is super young only 24 years old on the rise so I really think he's a, in the long term going to be one of the top potentially top goalkeepers in the Canadian Premier League but for now he's number nine on this list. Number eight is Connor James of FC Edmonton. Now James is the only 2016 national champion 2018 U Sports All Canadian first teamer and the only goalkeeper on this list that owns all the records for the Alberta Golden Bears goalkeeping position. I mean, he's definitely a special breed, only 22 years old, is FC Edmonton's seventh overall pick in the U Sports draft just late last year. So I mean, I actually, I don't even know who the starting goalkeeper is in FC Edmonton and that's why I have James at number eight because I do think that at the start of the year, he'll probably be backing up Pauli because I think Pauli does have that a little bit of experience from Sweden over the last year or two, which kind of edges out James in this position. But I think in the long term, I think Connor James is gonna be one of those hidden special gems for you FC Edmonton fans. Now number seven is FC Edmonton's other goalkeeper, Dylan Pauli. Now Connor James, who is ranked number eight there, might have a lot of accolades to his name in the college game, but here is another goalkeeper that FC Edmonton has in Dylan Pauli, also 22 years old, but has a little bit more experience in the professional game, which I think will really help him in preseason, kind of edge out James at the start of the season. I do ultimately think that FC Edmonton will kind of split the games between the two goalkeepers. I mean, they're both 22 years old, they're both still kind of raw, raw in their um, and their, you know, their development of their goalkeeping skills. But I think Pauli, because he's got a little bit of experience, he's come up through the Calgary Foothill system actually, and I recently spent the last year or two in the Swedish second division so he's got that professional experience that will help him develop himself right off the bat here he knows their professional environment looks like and feels like and now he's feeling that over in Edmonton with FC Edmonton so I think Dylan Powley for now ranks number seven on my list number six is York 9 FC starting goalkeeper Matt Silva 
Now I think Matt Silva deserves a ranking at number six because just like number seven's pick Dylan Pauly, he does have professional experience, but he actually has a little bit more professional experience and is a bit older. He's 27, I believe his 20th birthday is actually in a couple of days here. So a happy early 28th birthday to you, Matt Silva. And with this guy here, he's actually started playing professional football as a goalkeeper in 2015, it was his first year there. He played in the Philippines actually that year and actually even won the league title with that club that he was on before the league folded the following year and spent the last three years in the Swedish second division, just like Pauli. So I think Matt Silva, he's a little bit older. He's been through you know a professional environment twice as long as Pauli and that's why he gets the number six spot because I think he, you know, he's a regular as a professional now and I think he can be the starting goalkeeper in York Knight and be a solid backstop and I think he's actually a bit of a dark horse to be honest with you just because I think he could be getting a lot of wins this year just built based on how the York Knight roster is built. So Matt Silva, he's locked in at number six. Number five is Pacific FC's goalkeeper Mark Village. Now we're finally here, the top five goalkeepers in the Canadian Premier League. And my number five pick here is Mark Village for a reason. I think he's got the experience, again, professionally. I think that's a big thing in this rankings here is based off, you know, if you have that professional experience, I think that's gonna kind of give you a bit of a heads up over you know the other competition and Mark Village certainly deserves number five spot you know he's in the mid to late 20 range he's starting to come into his goaltending prime he spent time actually with the Vancouver Whitecap system playing with Vancouver Whitecaps 2 in his development but spent last year in 2018 with FC Cincinnati's club but unfortunately didn't see too much time and too many minutes which is unfortunate for him and his development and that's why I think this move to the Canadian Premier League and playing with Pacific FC and potentially even being the starter I think will help him in his development and I think him seeing more time and more matches started will only help prove that he deserves this number five ranking. Number four is Forge FC goalkeeper Quillian Roberts. I think with a player like Quillian Roberts at number four, I think that's a good spot for him to sit at because I think he's actually one of the better goalkeepers already in the Canadian Premier League. He's developed through professional systems with Toronto FC for a couple of years, playing down in Toronto FC 2, their farm team. And then just last year, he was over with the LAFC team there. Was actually a third goalkeeper there though, so he didn't see a whole lot of playing time, which kind of hurts him, and that's why he comes at number four. But I think with playing time and development, he could be the best goalkeeper in the Canadian Premier League in the next year or two. And that's why he comes at number four. It's because he's young, he's in his mid-20s but unlike the other players he's going to be great he also has professional experience in the Canadian development system there he's played with the U17 team at the 2011 CONCACAF tournament and has even got a match under his belt for the Canadian men's national team at the senior level so he's got that experience he's on the cusp of just cracking the national team and I think if he can get back in that form in 2019 he could do it and he's actually probably the only goalkeeper on this list that could probably score a goal from midfield and that's why he comes in at number four Number three here is Valor FC goalkeeper Tyson Farago. I think Tyson Farago is the most underrated goalkeeper on this list. A lot of times when you talk to people and fans and media in the league and you tell, ask them, you know, who do you think is the best goalkeepers in the league? The first names that come to mind are always Williams or Roberts or even Carducci now. And not a whole lot of people are saying the name they should be saying and that's Tyson Farago who's coming at number three here. One of the most underrated goalkeepers I think will really impress and will actually really challenge the next two on my list here in the 2019 season. And he's underrated. He's got professional experience. He's played with FC Edmonton from 2014 to 2017. Was their starter in 2017 and impressed enough there that he ended up going to Ireland to play professionally there in 2018 for a few months there before moving back last summer to Winnipeg to rejoin WSA Winnipeg in the PDL level. And with that, you know, I think he's he's 100%, his mind is on the game here. I think as, you know, I had a great interview with him in um, like last month or whatever, I'll have a link for that down in the description below. But you can just tell, you know, he's definitely 100% on the ball in this one. I think he's super competitive enough that he'll be able to edge out the other talents on this list because again, he does have that professional experience. He's played in North America pro professionally and he's gone to Ireland and played professionally there. So he knows all those levels. And I think Rob Gale's system will up front will definitely help him. And he's gonna be part of a really strong Valor FC club. And that's why he's gonna be one of the top goalkeepers and clean sheets and wins in 2019, I predict. And that's why he comes in at number three. Number two is Calvary FC goalkeeper, Marco Carducci. Marco Carducci is only 22 years old. Let me get you that 
Let me say that out loud. 22 years old and he's already accomplished so much. He's played with Canada at the U18 and U20 and U23 levels. He's played through the Vancouver Whitecaps residency program. He's played his way onto the Vancouver Whitecaps 2 system and played in the USL in 2015 and 2016 and then played with Rio Grande's USL side in 2017 and then went, said, yeah, I don't want to play in the USL anymore. Turned down all the USL offers in 2018 to go play with the Calgary Foothills in the PDL, which as we all know now was a great decision on his part because he won the Golden Glove and was a big part of that team going all the way and winning the PDL championship. And he's only 22 years old. He did all that before his 22nd birthday. That's unbelievable to think. And I think Marco Coducci deserves the number two spot because I do think he's going to do what he's done everywhere else. And that's get wins on a, what will be a very good Calvary FC club. He's going to tear it up and that's why he comes in at number two. Number one is Halifax Wanderers goalkeeper, Jean-Michael Williams. Now here we get to the big number one pick here. My best goalkeeper coming in the 2019 season, I believe, will be the Halifax Wanderers goalkeeper, Jean-Michael Williams. And the reason why, again, just like I said with all the other guys, a big part of it is experience. He's got that professional experience at working in you know Division One and Division Two leagues. He's played in Belgium, Trinidad and Tobago, his home country, uh, Hungary, Honduras, and Guatemala recently. And he's been playing for over 10 years professionally. So he's got the experience. He's in his mid-30s. He's one of the older players, the most experienced players, period, in the Canadian Premier League. So I think with all that experience, oh yeah. And then I forgot, he's got 81 caps with his national team, Trinidad and Tobago. So I mean, how can you not put him anything lower than number one? He's experienced, I mean, on the, as res, if you look at everybody's resume, he's the most experienced, he's got done the most out of all those other goalkeepers in the league. And that's why he's my number one pick. I think he's the best goalkeeper in the league coming in the 2019. I also think he's going to be a big part of Halifax Wonders. If they want to be successful, he's going to be their MVP in 2019. So my number one pick is Jean-Michael Williams. Well guys, that was my list of my top 10 goalkeepers for the 2019 Canadian Premier League season. Is there any guys I missed? Do you think that should deserve to be in the top 10? Let me know your top 10 list of goalkeepers that you think are going to be the best goalkeepers in the league down in the comment section below. Who do you think is going to be the best goalkeeper? Do you think it's Williams? Do you think it's Carducci? Farago maybe? Let me know down in the comment section below. And of course, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, that thumbs up button. It shows me that you like content just like this. And of course, if you are liking the, these Canadian Premier League videos, you want to see more Canadian Premier League content just like this, maybe consider hitting that red subscribe button. And of course, you can also watch my content over at northernstarting11.com. I have a link for that website down in the description below. You're going to want to click that link now because there's a bunch of great Canadian Premier League podcasts and Canadian soccer podcasts and other vlog videos just like this one there. And of course, it's all made by Canadians for Canadians just like the Canadian Premier League. So why don't you want to not check that out? Of course, you got to check that out. And of course, thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, thanks for watching.